right before your eyes, is one of the most formidable main battle tanks in the world at present. However, it's not any renowned long-standing model from either Russia or the West. Instead, this tank hails from a far eastern nation that's gradually emerging as a military powerhouse and a global weapons supplier. In fact, its prowess even ranks above that of the M1 Abrams, Challenger II, or T-14 Armata. That name is none other than the central figure in today's military knowledge video. None other than the K-2 Black Panther, the Black Panther from the land of Kimchi. As usual, your likes and subscriptions will help the channel grow further. So, don't hesitate to spare a few seconds to support those who created this video. And now, let's dive into the main content. Let's rewind back to the early 1990s, when South Korean engineers proposed the production of a new domestically designed tank, utilizing the most advanced technology possible. However, the military declined due to exceeding costs, opting instead to upgrade the K-1 tank, which was a derivative of the M1 Abrams designed by General Dynamics Land Systems and received technical upgrade packages from them. Over time, however, the South Korean military gradually limited involvement in improving foreign origin tanks to enhance its own weapon production capability and experience. As a result, they made advancements in turret design, fire control systems, gun barrels and composite armor. In 1996, the operational prototype of the new variant K1A1 was introduced. However, a year later, the Asian financial crisis postponed its mass production. During that time, South Korea made efforts to localize and develop its own designs or manufacture most of the parts of K1A1 under license. Additionally, the country began planning for a new domestically developed main battle tank as design and tank production capabilities evolved. There were three main reasons why South Korea decided so. First, despite enhancing localization, K1A1 was still a US design under their export control to protect US intellectual property rights making it difficult for South Korea to conduct foreign sales. Second, the existing M1A3K and M1A5K tanks in the South Korean military were outdated designs needing replacement with newer, more modern battle tanks. Third, the South Korean military was adopting and applying new tactics based on the theory of electronic warfare as the center of war, wanting the new tank to prioritize electronic warfare capabilities for command and control over firepower defense, or mobility. If you're not aware, electronic warfare is a military theory or concept aimed at turning information into battlefield advantages for dispersed combat forces through computer networks and information technology advancements. In response to that demand, South Korean engineers committed to integrating this feature into their developing new tank. They are developing alongside those reasons in the eyes of South Korean politicians, military officers, and developers. The K-1 is a humiliation, a clear testament to South Korea's lack of tank development technology. Therefore, the ability to design and manufacture a leading main battle tank, standing shoulder to shoulder with the powerhouses of the five continents, is not only aimed at enhancing the combat capability of the military against threats from North Korea and China, but has become a matter of national pride. Therefore, they were determined to create a state-of-the-art cutting-edge long-range combat machine, despite criticisms from the media, arguing that deploying a new tank model was premature, as well as doubts about the quality of the domestic product. From July 1995 to December 1997, the development process was carried out, with the first step being the development of a model system for research and theoretical analysis. South Korea invited experts from around the world including names like Street Van 103, M1 Abrams, Marva, and Time 90, to participate in a 40-hour workshop to help guide the concept of tank development. And, as agreed beforehand, all presentations were recorded and used to guide the development system for the new tank. Subsequently, seven researchers from the South Korean Defense Development Agency, who were directly responsible for the design, were sent to the United Kingdom for a year to study tank development. From November 1998 to December 2002, 
private companies collaborated with the Defense Development Agency in the research and development process of core technologies and systems, including tank guns, turret drive systems, and automatic loading systems. Other important systems and tests included automatic target detection and tracking, combat control system, identification and awareness, active suspension components to significantly enhance mobility performance and close-range access charges within a 7M range for multi-purpose high-explosive shells from January 2003 to 2007. Some vehicles and modules were manufactured to test durability, mobility, fire control, combat control and operational time at low temperatures. The final prototype was unveiled on March 2, 2007 at the Changwon test site. The development process was officially completed in September 2008, estimated to last 14 years and cost a total of 452.6 and 23 trillion won. Nearly a decade and a half and massive funding were not wasted as, at present, the K2 Black Panther is one of the most powerful main battle tanks in the world, surpassing any type of tank owned by North Korea or China. Some military websites even evaluate it as the second most powerful tank after the Leopard 2 A7A1 and above the M1 A2 SAF Abrams, Challenger 2 and T14 Armata. In 2016, the first batch of 100 K2 tanks was delivered to the South Korean military and additional batches are being produced. By 2023, they had ordered over 200 more, not only to meet domestic demand, but also because Asian countries had started showing interest and becoming the first export customers. In 2022, Poland reached an agreement with South Korea to purchase 980 K2 tanks and received the first ones in the same year. As the mainstay of the sixth-ranked military in the world, according to the Global Firepower Ranking, and one of the most powerful super tanks in the world, alongside the Leopard 2 or M1 Abrams, the firepower of the K2 Black Panther is undoubtedly not to be underestimated. The tank is equipped with the CN08 120mm smoothbore gun developed by the Defense Development Agency and WIA Corporation under the Hyundai Group. The gun applies MOM, metallic composites on metal technology, to increase internal barrel hardness for larger caliber, allowing it to withstand high explosive force and resist abrasion. In addition, the gun barrel is equipped with a dynamic muzzle reference system, allowing the gunner to accurately hit targets even when the tank is maneuvering on uneven terrain. The CN08 is capable of firing various types of ammunition, standard NATO 120X 570mm caliber. For armor-piercing projectiles, it uses the K279 kinetic energy penetrator with self-sharpening rods. The gun will produce a muzzle velocity of 1760 ES and a multi-focus range of 3,000 metons. In addition, it can also utilize the K280 anti-tank explosive shells, which are versatile projectiles equipped with proximity fuses within a 7 mm range from the target. This provides the capability to attack various types of targets, including low-flying helicopters. Most notably, we have to mention the KS-TAM shells, South Korea's indigenous house-made ammunition similar to the two previous models. These are smart anti-tank shells, featuring firing and forget mechanisms developed for use on the K2. Thus, the shell will be launched as a kinetic energy shell from the main gun at a high angle, equivalent to a howitzer when approaching the designated target area, though it will pop out to decelerate and hover in the air for a period, during which time, radar, infrared and radiation sensors on the shell will work to search for and detect targets. Subsequently, an armor-piercing explosive warhead will be activated, firing at a speed of about 2,000 NMSS to penetrate the weakest armor layer, causing maximum damage. Additionally, the damage from the shell is maximized by the armor fragmentation effect. Specifically, it will break the enemy tank armor into fragments to cause internal damage, ensuring not only battlefield domination, but also ensuring the enemy's swift journey to meet their maker. This means the crew can directly control the shells for remote attacks, allowing the K2 to fire from a safe position towards the enemy or to provide fire support against hidden targets behind obstacles. When fired from the CN08 gun barrel, the KSTAM can reach a maximum firing range of 8,000 Temontons, 
equivalent to the maximum length of a standard FIFA football field. In addition, the CN08 gun is also integrated with an automatic loading system, similar to the one equipped on the French Invincible Beast, the AMX 56 Leclerc, allowing the Black Panther to fire at a rate of 15 rounds per minute. At the same time, it can automatically identify, select, and load the necessary ammunition types through the target identification system and laser marking. Furthermore, the K2 Black Panther's gun is supported by advanced fire control and optical systems, including the gunner's main sight, providing a maximum magnification of 60 secs when using digital image processing, panoramic sight of the commander, ballistic computer, turret drive system, and dynamic muzzle reference system. All of these systems will be linked to the Dola radar with ultra-high frequency pulses, deployed on the front arc of the turret, along with laser, range finders, and wind sensors. Additionally, this system is capable of collecting and tracking specific targets within a 9.8 km range using thermal imaging cameras, helping the gunner accurately fire while on the move or engaging in combat with low-flying aircraft. Moreover, the K2's fire control system is also connected to an advanced gun stabilizer and delay activation mechanism to optimize accuracy when moving on uneven terrain. True to its name, they will delay firing until the laser beam from the rangefinder stabilizes instead of firing off target due to gun barrel oscillation. This could potentially expose the vehicle's position and put it in a dangerous situation. Not only that, the fire control system also allows the tank commander to override the gunner's commands, taking control of the turret and gun. Furthermore, unconfirmed reports suggest that in emergencies, the vehicle can be operated by just two crew members, or even one. It is speculated that the fire control system may automatically detect and track visible targets, cross-referencing them with data provided through links with allied vehicles. This allows the K2 to avoid unnecessary engagements and fire without crew members manually inputting target information. Additionally, South Korea's Black Panther is equipped with a target tracking and detection system controlled by an automatic target recognition algorithm. When a target is identified as hostile, the K2 will automatically aim and fire and perform distance measurements using laser, even when both itself and the target are in motion. Moreover, this system can autonomously control the main gun's firing based on trajectory data calculated by the laser rangefinder mounted on the turret and wind sensors, significantly enhancing the combat effectiveness of non-specialized gunners. In addition to the main CNL-08 120mm gun, South Korean engineers also installed a Coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a heavy caliber K6 machine gun, size 12.mm7, mounted on the turret roof. Both of these guns have a significant amount of ammunition, 12,000 rounds for the former and 3,200 rounds for the latter. Furthermore, for the heavy caliber K6 machine gun, similar to the main gun, it has an automatic target discrimination system. When it comes to a main battle tank, alongside powerful guns and main cannons, we also cannot overlook a robust defense system. Previously, Although South Korea was allowed to produce the high K-1 tank, General Dynamics land systems still prohibited them from accessing a special armor package similar to that of the M1 Abrams in order to protect the intellectual property and national security of the United States. As the armor of main battle tanks is often considered top secret and its technology difficult to export. Therefore, the only choice for South Koreans was to develop indigenous armor. Subsequently, the South Korean Defense Development Agency and Samyang Comtech researched the K-1 armor. By 1996, South Korea received Russia's domestic T-80U along with the Contact V explosive reactive armor. This enabled them to study composite armor and reactive armor technology. The K-2 Black Panther is equipped with a modular armor system to replace damaged or upgradable materials more quickly and easily. This armor is redesigned based on the SAP, Special Armor Plate, of the K1A1, made from carbsilic ceramic steel and aluminum. The combination of these materials helps provide effective protection against ballistic and explosive threats, while reducing the overall weight of the tank 
and enhancing corrosion resistance. South Korean engineers claim that the front armor layers are effective against 120 mm kinetic penetrators fired from a 6.6 mm long gun barrel. On the outside, they also apply explosive reactive armor blocks to enhance the durability of their most powerful tank. Inside the K2 tank, they installed an air conditioning and positive pressure system to protect the crew from biological weapons. Along with that, an automatic fire suppression system is programmed to detect and extinguish any potential fires inside. Atmospheric sensors will also alert the crew if the tank enters a hazardous environment. The tank is also lined with protection to shield the crew from neutron radiation from nuclear explosions. Not only does the K2 receive armor layers, but its defense capabilities also come from an active defense system. The vehicle is equipped with radar and laser warning systems designed to detect enemy radar or laser-guided threats targeting the tank. Immediately, the turret will turn towards the threat and alert allied units through the network system. Additionally, the K2 has a total of 12 K4-15 smoke grenade launchers mounted on the turret, capable of obscuring visual and infrared vision. South Korea's Black Panther also possesses K-49 multi-spectral smoke grenades. If a guided anti-tank missile is fired at the K-2, the tank will immediately alert the crew and adjust its trajectory to activate the SNT Dynamic SLS system to launch the K-419 smoke grenades towards the incoming missile most effectively. Then, the multi-spectral smoke screen will help conceal the tank from infrared, optical and radar sensors disrupting the missile's accuracy. This system is located behind the turret's top and is supported by two missile warning receivers using the DOLA radar, allowing the SLS to cover a 180-degree area around and 60 degrees at high angles. It can also detect wire-guided missiles with their own radar signal. The missile warning receivers are also responsible for tracking and targeting approaching missiles enabling the active defense system to neutralize threats in future upgrades of the K-2. Despite possessing a combined active and passive defense system, facing threats from anti-tank weapons and the need to adapt to the 70% mountainous terrain of the Korean peninsula, the Black Panther also requires significant flexibility and maneuverability through numerous efforts to localize production and address the shortcomings of domestically produced components K2 tanks from the third batch onwards have been equipped with a 1500 horsepower engine combined with a transmission featuring six forward gears and three reverse gears. Both are domestically made in South Korea. As a result, the Black Panther can reach a top speed of 70 km/h, accelerate from 0 to 32 km/h in 8.77 seconds, and maintain a speed of up to 50 km/h on uneven terrain within a range of 450 km. It can also climb slopes with a gradient of 60 degrees and overcome vertical obstacles up to 1.3 meters high. Furthermore, due to the relatively compact design of the engine, designers can add an auxiliary power unit into the remaining space. This equipment can generate power from 8 to 10 kilo dollars and supply power to the vehicle's systems when the main engine is shut down. It also enables fuel savings and minimizes the vehicle's thermal and acoustic signatures. Additionally, the K2 Black Panther utilizes an advanced active suspension system that allows the crew to control the vehicle's posture, tilting or lowering the overall height by up to 40 centimeters. Thanks to this system, the K2 can easily take cover behind obstacles, maneuver on rough terrain to reduce frame damage and increase the gun elevation angle. Specifically, using the suspension system, the K2 can elevate the gun to 24 degrees enabling it to attack a target flying straight at a distance of 5 km in a curved trajectory. Moreover, this backbone of the battlefield is equipped with a dynamic tension track system to maintain optimal tension, significantly reducing the risk of track slip in the harshest conditions. Another special feature of the K2 Black Panther is its ability to forward depths of up to 4.1 meters using a snorkel system, while also serving as a command post and taking only about 20 to 30 minutes to prepare. It can switch to combat ready status immediately after surfacing. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, 
One of the driving forces behind South Korea's determination to develop the Black Panther is their desire and capability to produce a heavily impactful tank. To achieve this, engineers from the land of the morning calm have equipped the K-2 with some enhanced situational awareness features for the crew, such as an advanced C-4I system to enhance command capabilities, communication control, computation and intelligence, a positioning system combined with GPS and signal jamming, an identification system for friend or foe, and a selective identification feature and battlefield management system linked to C4I allow the vehicle to share its data with other allied vehicles. Furthermore, the K2 provides the crew with a network-based combat training system using three-dimensional virtual reality technology. The training computer designed for the K2 allows training in driving, gunnery, combat, individual tank, platoon combat, team command, and platoon command while also allowing real-time information sharing and training with allied tanks through the network system. The Black Panther also features an integrated diagnostic function to verify its core, functions without the need for any external testing devices. As a result, the operational capability and maintenance of the vehicle by the crew will be significantly enhanced, ensuring that the K2 is not only a powerful combat machine, but also maintains durability and operates for long periods. So, the information about the maintenance and operation features of the K2 Black Panther concludes today's military knowledge journey for you, the audience. Is South Korea's Black Panther deserving of its position as one of the most powerful main battle tanks in the world, perhaps even surpassing the M1A2 Abrams or the T-14 Armata as rumoured. Moreover, can the K-2 help South Korea deal with threats from North Korea and China? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. For now, goodbye and see you in the next videos. Wishing everyone a wonderful day with family and friends.